Hello everyone, my name is Saravdar and in this lesson we will be learning how to create a well-structured library of reference images which you can use in your matte paintings. And I'll show you what a library is and uh, if you look into my hard disk I have this dedicated folder here called concept images and if you go in you can see I have separate folders for separate class of images like if, if you go into this folder in buildings you'll find various types of reference images of buildings up there okay so same with other things cloud desert Elora is a place in India where you have this nice caves and temples so like that now the question is why should you have such structured library? Do you really need it? Uh, well let me explain and uh, I'll take a reference of a painting that I had previously done for Pencil Kings. This was a concept art lesson and uh, as you can see this is a very rough concept art image and it, it was done from scratch. So now while you're painting, you can paint anything, alright? In concept art, you can just follow your imagination and do whatever you want to. But then if you want to use this painting in some movie or some game, then you'll have to convert it into a matte painting, like this. As you can see, I have used uh, many different type of textures to cover up every single part of this image like uh, in this part we have this uh, sharp edged uh, box and uh, this part we have this big piece of rock and we have snows then we have these characters and also several different metal parts to build this aerial vehicle and also I, I needed this clean blue sky image and there are many 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 textures which I have blended in to achieve this kind of a rough uneven uh, ground plane and these, these mountains are different from these then you have to do a lot of color correction and fine tuning to make them look synchronized so uh, the main thing is uh, to to achieve uh, this kind of photorealism you will have to use uh, maybe more than one or, or maybe n number of textures to make a very small part of your painting till you're satisfied with the, with the visual development uh, uh, it's also equally possible that you can have a large area covered by one single texture if you're that lucky all right so that's where the necessity of your structured library comes in and uh, if you have a library ready you won't have to spend much time you know, searching the internet or your photographic database to uh, you know, hunt, hunting for images to use, use in your painting and that, that takes a lot of time and uh, if you are working in production or if you are a professional you don't have that luxury to take uh, unlimited amount of time from your director so that's the merit of uh, having a well-structured library and in the next lesson we will see how to study a good quality matte painting and analyze it technically to know what kind of reference images could have been used in making of that painting. By doing so, you will have a basic groundwork or framework to begin with.